Hello, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna be starting a reading vlog with these Colleen Hoover books. I actually have already read It Ends With Us. This was my very first Colleen Hoover that I read about, I think it was six years ago, five or six years ago, right when I started getting into reading. And I remember like I gave it five stars. Um, I, I actually don't remember anything other than that, that, that I enjoyed it and gave it five stars. And even back then I wasn't writing reviews on Goodreads. So this just has a five star rating but no review, so I don't even know what I liked about it. I have been wanting to read It Starts With Us, which just came out. It is the, I guess, sequel technically for It Ends With Us, but since I don't remember anything from this and when people are talking about it, I feel like I have no opinions because I don't remember. Um, I'm actually going to reread this in this vlog and read It Starts With Us in this vlog. So I'm really excited because I feel like I don't reread books hardly ever, but I think because I don't remember what happens in this and I don't remember anything about it, hopefully I still like it and hopefully I am not bored with it. I don't know, we'll have to see. I felt like this would be a good vlog in order to do this for. Um, I'm actually going to start listening to It Ends With Us because I have a lot of TBR card orders. If you didn't know, I have an Etsy shop. I make these decks of TBR cards so you can play the same TBR game that I play. Um, I just came out with a special winter themed deck. I also came out with a deck where you can ask for specific book covers on the cards so you can always put those in your deck and then when you pick that you would read that book i have a black friday sale that is going on from november 25th till december 2nd it's 25 percent off my whole entire store i'm not sure when this video is coming out but hopefully it's either before or during that sale and you guys can still go grab cards in order to gift them for someone for christmas or for yourself but i have a bunch of orders that just came in this week and so i need to work on those while I am listening to these books. So I'm gonna start listening to It Ends With Us on Libby. I have it checked out from the library. And then once I start having some thoughts and feelings about it, I will do an update and let you guys know what I am thinking about it so far. Okay, so I got to 32% in It Ends With Us. Um, I just finished doing like four card orders and I'm about to take a break and play some Stardew Valley, but I'm gonna update with my thoughts so far because I think that um, age, I feel like the age of the reader really can contribute to thoughts that you have throughout a book. I read It Ends With Us back when I was 24 years old, I believe is what I was because I got married when I was 23 and now I am 30. So I feel like you just gain more perspective at life while you age and obviously like I have so much more perspective to gain. Um, I'm not saying I know everything at all, but I feel like I see red flags in this book more so than when I first read it because I don't remember having any problems with it. Um, I don't remember like seeing any red flags or being like kind of, you know, thinking something was cringy. Um, in particular, I do not like, is his name like Riles or something like that? I didn't look at the physical book, so I'm just going off of what I heard in audio but I do not like him and I don't like how he treats Lily. Like I, the way that he is like demanding to have sex with her and he says those mean things about like, oh, I hope I never see you again. I am just not the type of person, like I already don't love hate love romances because I think that romanticizing someone being mean to you is totally wrong and especially now the older that I get, you know, even with having, like I'm going to have my first daughter soon, and obviously she's not gonna date for a really long time, but I feel like as a mom and just knowing like what a great husband I have, I kind of, I, like I wish I could tell Lily in this book, like don't let a guy treat you like that because that is not what love is. And so it's really frustrating me that he is like, pressuring her into having a one night stand or kind of like 
not really punishing her, but just kind of like pushing her into something like that. And obviously her as a character, like she is kind of realizing that and like, you know, obviously we get some of her thoughts, but I still feel like Colleen Hoover is romanticizing it a bit in the book. And it almost feels like, you know, when they have those like, um, steaming scenes, it's kind of like you forget about, um, you know, those red flags and you're just like, okay, like this is hot, you know, whatever. I feel like it's so easy for that to happen to women or younger girls in general, where they think that, oh, a guy that's like, you know, pressuring to have sex means that like, they really like them. Whereas I feel like a guy should be way more respectful with, you know, just their boundaries in general. I think that that is way more admirable in my opinion. So I just honestly don't like Riles as a character. And I don't, like, I can't remember if I liked him um, when I first read it, but I definitely feel like I am just not rooting for them as a couple this time through. Like, I don't even know if they're the couple we're supposed to root for. I don't remember, but I also don't know if this is my age coming into play, but I also think that that photograph that he took of her and then he like blew it up and like kind of distorted it and put it in his house, that's weird, okay? Like, I don't know. In my opinion, sitting there thinking about that, especially because they aren't dating, they've only met a few times, like that's like stalkerish in my, I, I don't know. I guess I just didn't think about this stuff when I was first reading this book and I was just like, oh my gosh, like, oh, uh, like, oh my gosh. You know, I don't know. Those are my thoughts so far. I do like the hard hitting topics. Like I like the um, going back and seeing um, why her relationship is rocky with her dad. I really appreciate those parts. I like those hard hitting topics. That's one of the reasons why I like reading Colleen Hoover. So yeah, we'll just have to see how the rest of the book goes and I don't know, maybe we're supposed to hate Riles or whatever his name is. <laughs> Hello, um, good morning-ish. I don't know, I've been awake for a long time, but it's 11 o'clock because I'm only just now um, starting to get productive. I have been waking up like really early, like while I have been pregnant, like seven o'clock, 7.30, stuff like that. I only now decided to actually get stuff done for today. So I'm actually headed, I have a bunch of like returns to do. I have a return at Walmart. I have um, Amazon returns where I have to go to the UPS store. I have to pick up um, my raw milk today. And then I figured since I'm out and about, I would finally go to Goodwill because I wanted to look for like certain clothes there that either were maternity or that I could wear maternity, like maybe some oversized sweaters or like flannels or something like that. So we're just gonna go and look. I am putting together like a whole maternity, like wardrobe video on my main channel. So that's like, kind of what I'm doing today with this. I already got clothes from Old Navy that I really like, where actually this is where this maternity coat's from. While I'm running around doing all that stuff. I did bring my earbuds because I thought maybe like if I'm, you know, just in goodwill looking at clothes, like I could continue listening to more of It Ends With Us. I did read a bit more of it last night or I like, I listened to it and read it at the same time. It says I am 47%. So I'm literally like super close to the halfway point and I'm hoping to get more of that read today. It is super rainy and dreary out. It just like kind of started raining, but it is 36 degrees outside. So we're gonna go run all these errands in the rain, yay. Okay, I just got out of Goodwill and I already did all of my errands. So I was listening to It Ends With Us. Um, I am now at 58% and uh, I was listening to like, I don't know, I guess one of the worst parts, I guess, like while I'm in Goodwill. So I was like so angry because I'm like looking through clothes in Goodwill and that's when Ryle actually shows his true colors. So it just makes me like so incredibly mad because what he did, you like can't go back from that. And honestly, I feel like I remember nothing from this book. Like it all, it actually feels like I am reading like a brand new book that I've never read before. So I guess that's kind of good because I do feel like my thoughts and opinions are real and raw and not because I've already read this book because I didn't even remember like any of this that happened or the whole like wine kitchen hand scene. 
didn't know any of that. So um, my Goodwill haul though wasn't that great. I only got two things. I got a blue bathrobe. I've been wanting like a really nice soft and like this is my one of my favorite colors. So it's this like super nice soft robe that will be really great throughout pregnancy. And then I did get one green sweater. I tried on a bunch of things. But they just like, I don't know. I feel like, okay, you know how there's like certain mirrors? Like don't they have like skinny mirrors in places? Well, I think Goodwill has the opposite. I feel like they have mirrors that make everything look absolutely terrible. Like I'm a tall person, I'm five foot eight, and I feel like I look so short and like stocky in the Goodwill mirror, so. Everything looked terrible except for like those two things. Um, so I'm gonna go home. I also would like to play more Stardew Valley today. Um, Alvin and I were playing the Oregon Trail last night because it came out on the Switch and we played that for like four hours and that was really fun. So I'm he might want to play it tonight when he gets home. I'm not sure. Good morning. Today is Friday, I believe. Um, it's been a few days since I updated you all on my reading for it ends with us and it starts with us um but yesterday i actually went and got my hair done um which i am loving the color i did something so that way it would be easy to grow out if i don't have the chance to go get it you know updated before i have the baby and so that way you know i still look okay months after having her but while i was um going down there it was like an hour drive to where i get my hair done um i actually ended up finishing it ends with us because i was actually listening to some of it at work the other day and so i got a big chunk of it done at work and then the rest of it on my drive so i'll update you on my initial thoughts of the rest of it ends with us and the ending of that and then i did start it starts with us so i do have just like a few tiny thoughts so far but today i'm actually working on a bunch of tbr cards again um so i'm going to be listening to it starts with us like while i'm doing that so for it ends with us i am actually surprised that i still think i'm going to rate it five stars like after having reread it number one i realized i didn't remember a single thing from this book so it was almost like reading a book brand new which i really really enjoyed because that's one of the reasons why i don't reread books because i don't want to already know what's going on you know so i really really liked that it was still felt like a brand new book because i didn't remember anything from it and i am kind of shocked that it still brought out a lot of emotions with me so one of the reasons that i will give a book a high rating is if i enjoy it pretty much all the way through like if i have a book where it's like boring in the beginning then i'm probably only going to rate it four stars at the end if i enjoyed the majority of the book but i really enjoyed the book i kept wanting to pick it up kept wanting to listen to it but the emotion in it is really what made it a five star read i really actually like like now that i know what is happening because i know in my beginning clips i was talking about like how upset i was about you know it kind of romanticizing Ryle um, with like, even though I knew that there were like red flags coming, but now like after having read it, like I know that, okay, like this book, I mean, even though I knew it was about domestic abuse, I just couldn't remember like how it happened or who it was. Um, and so like knowing that at the end, you know, that wasn't being romanticized anymore. Um, and the author's note specifically, I do not remember if I read the author's note when I first read it because I did not remember that these forms of domestic abuse were actually true stories of what happened to Colleen Hoover's mom. And I love like I love author's notes actually because it gives you like the insight of why an author wrote the book the way that they did. And that is a point uh, that I wanna make is the fact that like I was pretty upset with like Lily as a character and how um, you know, she kept making excuses for Ryle and staying with him when obviously as her character, like she had witnessed domestic abuse growing up with like her dad and her mom. And so it was really upsetting to me that she just kept like making excuses. But now that I know that those actual forms of like the fights that they had and you know, everything that happened were actually from Colleen Hoover's mom's perspective, like that happened to her. And and I really like how they touched base on, you know, like with having a child and how that brings everything into it. Um, oh my gosh, like when when Lily was asking Ryle, like, 
riled. Like, what would you do if your daughter told you that her boyfriend was hitting her? Like, I'm literally tearing up now. I was literally like crying almost in my car. Like, it's probably the pregnancy hormones, but it's also probably because I am pregnant with a little girl. And so like, just putting that into, into perspective, cause that's kind of what I was talking about in the beginning of this video with like, having your own daughter and like being a mom and you know thinking about that like you would never hope like you would never tell your kid like oh it's okay like you know just forgive them you know what i mean like you would never say that you would say run far for the hills so it was a little frustrating that like lily wasn't able to do that in the beginning and it took her a while in order to do that but i understand like why it was written that way and i really did enjoy that one thing that i do want to pick a bone with is the fact that i really 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 don't agree with the fact that ryle and lily got married all on this form of like what was it called like you know your true thoughts like tell me uh i forget what it was called like you know just tell me something like don't lie about it that kind of thing and it's like the whole book was based off of like that but why would you get married to someone without telling them that really big thing about his brother and about you blacking out and having these actual anger problems? Like, in my opinion, that was totally wrong for Ryle to not give that information to someone before he got married to them because I'm not sure if that would have made Lily's decision different, but I still think that she deserved to know that before getting married to him because that could have changed her dynamic, you know? So that kind of pissed me off because I feel like honesty totally in a marriage is very important. And I would be so, so, so mad if I had already gotten married to someone and they were like, yeah, I have blackouts and I'm violent during them. Like what? I also want to point out that my two favorite characters were actually, um, I think her name was Alyssa and then was her husband's name like Matt or something. I like listened to the whole book. So it's hard for me to like remember names and stuff. Ryle's sister and then her husband. I absolutely loved them. They were so funny as characters and I just really, really loved them. Like I almost wish that there was like a spinoff book for them. Not that I care so much about like series and spinoffs and stuff, but like as characters, I loved the way that they were written. So I did want to point that out because I was just laughing so much about like them, like both of them, honestly. Okay, so I think I made all of my points um, regarding It Ends With Us. And so yeah, still a five-star read. I still really enjoyed it. I just love the topic of like having that hard hitting topic of domestic abuse. I think that that brought so much to the table with this book. And now I know why, like I rated it five stars back in the day. So I can actually update my Goodreads and say why I loved it so much. I do wonder like in the future, because I read Reminders of Him, um, was it last year when it came out? And I gave that one like three or three and a half stars because I felt like I couldn't relate to it because I wasn't a mother. And so I'm actually curious to see. I am wondering if, especially once my baby is born, if I would reread that in the future, if my feelings for it would change and I would have a better perspective with some of the books written, you know, like from a mother's perspective, because I do feel like it really hit me in the feels with that whole, like Lily giving birth and you know, all that stuff she said to Ryle, like that hit me. So I'm curious to see if like reminders of him could actually go up further in the future if I reread it when I like don't remember it anymore. But I'm just really glad that I enjoy Colleen Hoover's writing because I was worried that I wasn't going to like it as much as I did the first time. So now I'm on to It Starts With Us. Um, I think I might've listened to like maybe 45 minutes of it. And so far it's just like, okay, I'm not like, you know, it left off actually, like as soon as I finished It Ends With Us, I went straight into It Starts With Us. And so I did think it was kind of cool that she literally started that book as soon as It Ends With Us ended. I do really like that. And I think that it worked well for me that I had just read them because if you hadn't just read it and it ends with us, I feel like you wouldn't have really known that that just left off there. Of course, like, you know, who wouldn't love Atlas? Um, but I'm kind of wondering if there is gonna be a hard hitting topic in this second book or is it just a book for people that wanted to see Atlas and Lily together at the end because 
I mean like sure like I want Lily to have a happy life and like Atlas is such a great guy But like do I need a happy fairy tale ending? No, like I was totally okay with the ending of it ends with us Totally okay with that but we'll have to see. I'll have to see if It Starts With Us is gonna be as good. I'm not sure, but we're gonna continue listening to it and I'm going to make some TBR cards. I didn't give many updates for It Starts With Us, um, mainly because it was just, I listened to it all the other day when I was doing the cards. There wasn't anything of substance in that book. I actually am only gonna rate It Starts With Us three stars because in my opinion, I feel like Colleen Hoover didn't even need to write it. Like, I guess she wrote it because people wanted um, like a story of Atlas and Lily. I just felt like most of it was kind of just almost like useless. I don't know. We had like these side characters that came in, um, like Atlas's little brother and stuff, but I didn't really see the point to any of that. And I was actually surprised, like, because I got to the end of the audiobook and I was like, Oh, I thought I was only in the middle. Like, where's the rest of this story? Although I still loved Colleen Hoover's writing and it was a easy book to listen to. Like that's one of the reasons why I'm rating it three stars. But I feel like it was definitely um, something that Colleen Hoover wouldn't have had to write because we didn't even, there was no end to the story. I actually preferred the way that it ends with us ended rather than having this it starts with us and then that ending i don't know that might be just an unpopular opinion because i don't need like happy endings so i didn't really need a book to tell me like atlas and lily end up together or anything like that i think also like the problem was is i thought that there was going to be um some type of like big thing to be fixed you know like whether it was domestic abuse or you know something that there would be that we had to fix but i was actually a little shocked by like how she went about uh ryle's character because it was showing um some of the problems that they were having but then all, i feel like all of a sudden that just got fixed like just magically fixed and so i didn't feel like there was definitely as much emotion as much hard-hitting topics um you know those types of like things that i like in this second book it was just kind of one of those happy-go-lucky romances obviously if you like those types of books like you'll probably still love reading it um and i'm not like mad that i read it um i am glad that i can say that i read both books um but it's definitely not something that i would ever reread or if you're like hesitant and you can't find it somewhere like you could definitely go about your life without having read it and just, you know, love the story of It Ends With Us. So those are my thoughts. Um, the next book that I actually am going to reread by Colleen Hoover is Verity because I read that also years ago and I remember only rating it like three or three and a half stars, but I remember nothing of it as well. So in the future, um, I'm planning on rereading Verity, especially since so many people love it and have been talking about it and I want to see if I actually will like it more this time or if I will remember, you know, what was missing from it and, you know, the reason I didn't give it five stars. I hope you all enjoyed this video and, you know, hearing my thoughts about these two books. Um, but that's it. I'm going to see you all in another video soon. I run. Dude.